Hey guys, Demise here. Welcome back to my channel. And you can see the portal is currently glowing. There is a 2x sacred shard going on right now. And a 10x for this guy. This guy is basically a duchess for offense. So I'm going to be pulling one shard. I've already pulled my shards actually. My one sacred and my one prism. And I will be showing you guys my reaction right now. 2x sacreds. We are going to be pulling one shard. Hopefully we actually get something good. So let's see. Oh my god, it's actually a legendary. And it's Cupidus. This guy's gonna be a huge game changer for my nuker. And Hydra, I think. Here, honestly, I'm really going for any of the legendaries. But if it's an epics, it has to be a Crodan or maybe an Ugo. So that it'd be actually pretty good. And it's a Crodan. So there goes my Sylvan Watcher's faction grip. He's gonna be good. So you can see I pulled an extreme game changer for my Sylvan Watcher's faction wars. I honestly, I wanted Armands or any of the other Legos, but... This guy is going to be very, very useful for this faction, so I do enjoy the pull there. He's going to be really, really useful for this faction, and that's about it. But for the massive pull I got, look at this. Cupidus is my official first legendary nuker. This guy has an AoE A1. Damage increases by 15% if the target has any debuffs. Most likely, there will be debuffs on the enemies 100% of the time, so it's going to be really good. Then you have another AoE on the A2. Placing HP burn, this is my first AoE HP burn on 100% without a condition. At the moment, I only have ultimate Gaelic for my HP burn. So this guy is a massive upgrade, of course. And then he has a really hard hitting A3, places increased attack on himself, then attacks one enemy. If this attack does kill someone, he will be placing HP burn on all of the other enemies with a 50% chance. And this debuff cannot be resisted. This passive only works if Venus is in the team, so that's not gonna happen. But you can see, actually, even for the Sacred Order, the epics I have here are all garbage except for Deacon, Shamael, and Lodric. So, so I, I, I think I'm going to be using those three, and then Cupidus, and then maybe someone else. I'm not sure who the fifth member is going to be yet. Make sure you guys do leave a comment down below if you guys have already finished the Sacred Order faction crypt. And if you guys did miss out on the last shard pull video, I pulled three Sacreds in that one. I got two epics, and then I got Newt. Newt had a 10 times that time. That is exactly why I pulled the sacreds and I got extremely lucky. I pulled him. And then the next shard, which is pulled in this video, gave me my amazing Cupidus, which is down here. It does look like I need to be using my Lego books finally. I have Cupidus, I have Newt, and I have Freya waiting here as well. So I have three Legos to book. And I'm going to be draining all my resources here so you can see. I only have 36 Lego books, so there goes all the books on those three champions. But these three champions are going to be extremely game-changing for my account, especially for Faction Wars. So I'm going to be booking these champions out when there is a tournament coming up. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I just wanted to share my polls with you guys. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.